Hello, hello, hello. Back basically for, for our basically car modeling tutorial. So what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be working on the the windows of the car basically, and this is how the windows look. So I'm going to basically do that. So it's very very simple. The windows. I find that the windows are the most easiest type. A thing to do first of all first of all the only thing you need honestly is a construct a 3d uh, insert a 3d object which is gonna be your polygon right here let's escape that actually we're gonna construct a rectangle and basically on top like that. And then we're gonna actually end up rotating that. Moving this right about there. Actually the best thing probably to do is to go into here and go into smooth object Go into here and bring that down to crease down like that. Smooth object. And it's been completely smoothed down. So when you're always working on an object, you always make sure it is on smoothing version. And then, then we're going to go left. And then we're just going to go ex scale that down right about there. Sometimes I don't even know what happened to the blueprint. So that's left. So there. So we're just gonna only focus on the side image right here. So I'm just gonna take this. You right move that right about down there. Where that is gonna touch right about there. And then I just wanna just try to focus on this, that. And kind of move that right about there. And just take this. And just bring that right about there. And just kind of put that right about there, a little bit above that. And then what I want to try to do is go in into here and just go subdivide that a couple of times. Actually, I'm just going to go into here and just going to go straighten that out. Put that there. 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 And I'm just going to go into here and move this. 
I'm just going to go into here and just go and go extract. I'm just going to go into here and go into here. And just go into polygon. And I'm just going to go hit like here and go like that. This is like another way you can do this and you just hit dissolve like that. And you're right, you're, you're, you're going to go into here and go, you write translate like that. And all you do is you're right, you go into here and you hit like dissolve. Can we do it a second time? Second time. You just go into here and just hit like dissolve and it gets rid of everything for you. And now what we're gonna do is start kind of like going into wireframe mode and shaping that out like this. And just extract around like this. That's okay. That can just be added on. Just as simple as that, basically. A little bit higher like that, and that's in.
And that's what you would do. Like that, and then only two pieces like that, pretty much. And then what you would do is you would kind of like do the exact same thing with this. That's why we would go on wireframe mode. That's the whole purpose. So that's what we would do right here. And we would kind of do this right here with the model. And this is how we do, like, let's say the actual... Windows right here. And that's what we would do right there. So now what we're going to do is going to kind of go into director's camera. So we have that. I mean, I know it's not perfect, but we can start selecting the very first layer like this. And use a box and just go C tier diselect like that. Get it far in there.
you would go into it more with detail and try to fix it up if you can. But my purpose is to try to give you a general idea of what how to do the car window of this. This is like, could be like one method to do, but I find that this is kind of like a very simple best method to do. Because all a car window is, to tell you the truth, is just a UV plane texture map, honestly. That's all it is. That's really all it is, pretty much. And then I'm just going to go translate. So that's not going to do. So first of all, I'm just going to go right click add and just go go free like that So we're going to add a line like this. And we're just going to go invert. Hide. So we're just going to select these two vertices right here. Just go link. Just going to go into here and just going to go link. And now I'm just going to go into here and just going to go extract along like this. And that's where we want to try to make. We want to try to make kind of an indent like that. And just kind of just edit this a little bit. Just add that there. So that's pretty good. So we're just going to go into here.
this off. Actually, gonna go in here. So we're just going to go into here. Well, just going to go the zone. Just gonna put that there. I'm just going gonna go into welding. I mean, this is taking a little bit too long, but that's okay. I'm just going to go into here.
and just go into here, smooth edge, and go all. So now my main purpose is going into here. So I'm just going to weld that together. I know this seems a little bit long, so I'm just going to weld this. That's it. Last one I'm gonna do, honestly, going into here. And just going into here and go like that. Just go like this to the quick fillet, like that. Delete that, and that's already done, ready to be used.
So that's the window already done, ready to be used. So when we go reveal, that's what the window actually looks like. So when we go into here, smooth, which you could probably lower down the size of this, I would say. So that's what it actually looks like so far. So now what I'm probably going to do, honestly, before this is finished up, I'm going to really start adjusting the scale of this in a way. like that, to make it in a different way. And really going into here and and just go into here and Like that. And that fix up the creases right there. The indent right here. And when you're always adding quick fillet, one of the things that you should always do, and this is what I think to my honest opinion that what a lot of people should always do, honestly, And that's the car that we did right there. So now what we had to do is kind of do the front. And on the next tutorial, we're going to work on this side piece right here of the car. And we're going to start working on the side piece that goes right there, that connects right there. Which is this piece we're going to start working on and doing this piece that goes right there that connects right there to the car itself and then we're going to start working on more the um, side view mirror of the car is what we're going to start doing is start working on the side view mirror of the car and getting the side view mirror of the car actually done on a car so for that tutorial like once we're done and then we're going to take that and place that on the other side of there on the next tutorial, basically. 
And then the very first, very, very last is we're going to start working and doing the shell that's going to be used for the underbody of this car. And I guess that's going to be it so far. <clears throat> so I guess that's it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you like it and I hope you I can help you out a whole lot. And please subscribe if you like and please give me likes. I hope you like this tutorial. And I hope I can help you out a whole lot on how to model a car on the website, I would say. Thank you, goodbye, and please give me likes, and please subscribe. Thank you, goodbye, and I hope I can help out the computer animation co community on how to model cars at this level of detail. In, in, even included, how about help out the entire Carrara community and a DAS 3D community on how to excel their computer animation skills to the next level. Thank you, goodbye, and I'm about to end right now.